Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Strain, Season 1. Episode 4, this one was called It's Not For Everyone, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, and as always, my reviews do contain spoilers, so if you guys haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to watch it before watching my review. So, uh, this week's episode was called Not For Everyone, um, and it's it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, you know, this show is very scary, and it's, it's it, the, the autopsy scene where they actually, you know, dissect or sort of take a look at the uh, infected mutant... I don't know, vampire, zombie, what, what, however you want to think of them. They, they, I wouldn't really call them vampires because they're not like vampires. They're not really like zombies either. They're kind of, I guess they're mutant vampire zombies. I guess is the best way I can describe it. Now, some of them seem to behave mindlessly. Others seem to have more going on. You know, like, for example, the master and, uh, and the other one who is subservient to him uh, that does his makeup and everything. Um, so, you know, they're pretty complicated. Now, in this one, we get to see the autopsy scene where they actually take one apart and you get to see kind of how it changes the anatomy, like a parasite, it, it infects the host, and then it kind of grows out of it, which is absolutely disgusting. And um, there are actually, I believe, uh, there's fungus and some other uh, things in nature that actually behave kind of similar to that. I believe there's a there's a spore or a fungus that preys on ants. Um, and what it does is it, once they become infected, they their body like it uses them to to host it and basically the fungus will go and then it will kill them and then it will grow out of them and spread the spores everywhere. So it's not like it's something that's totally unrealistic. It's just it, it's kind of far fetched to see that happen to humans. But to see the autopsy was just absolutely grotesque, as it should be. But the design of them in the strain, the design of these mutant zombie vampire things is just disgusting. I mean, the stinger to see it come out and everything of the sort. It's it's just absolutely just. Oh, it's so gross, <laughs> you know. And uh, so I had to look away in this one when they were when they were pulling the stinger out of it, and they saw how long it was. It's just really, really freaky. It's really, really scary. And 100% uh, behind the character Abraham in this one, who comes in with the sword and just uh, essentially cuts the heads off the two that uh, that are there when uh, Dr. Ephraim and Nora, when they go in to check on them just to see what's going on. Um, because, you know, as he says, it's not for everyone. It's definitely not for, for a character like her that doesn't, well, if she refuses to kind of do it, she's got, you know, the ethics, she's got holding on to that versus, you know, actually doing something about it, which is that they have to basically exterminate them. They don't have any other choice. They have to put them down. Uh, there is no cure, basically, this parasite, it, it, you know, the worms, they... They cause the growth, and then it basically just uses the body as a shell, and it goes from there. So it's pretty dark, it's pretty grotesque, and um, it's very, very scary. I got to admit. So I did like this week's episode a lot. It did get me. It was it was nasty when it needed to be, just uh, gross, and at the same time, um, really scary at the end as well too. Because when you think of them, they're not like your atypical, you know, zombies or anything like that. They're pretty formidable, you know, one of them that's turned. I mean, with the stinger thing, I mean, that gives them quite a bit of, you know, uh, range in terms of an advantage in, in, a, in a fight, like range to be able to sting and to, to spit out like that. And it's really, oh, it's so gross. <laughs> it's pretty gross um, and, and really, really scary. So in addition to the awesome scene at the end, we also get some development from the, uh, the Mexican guy. I don't know his name as of yet. Um, who's a criminal, basically. So he's starting to work in with the story. We've seen that he meets Abraham at a part here just very quickly to give him the clock back. We have uh, the one infected guy with the dog and the wife and the neighbor, which was, um, you know, I don't really know where they're going with that. Um, they're concentrating a lot on, you know, him who's infected and kind of what it's doing to him. And I just don't see where they're going with that. We're going to have to wait and see kind of how that merges into the rest. And, you know, because he's not a good guy. So how much time should we be spending with him? 
I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it is interesting though. And then we also have uh, Jim letting Ephraim and Nora know that he had waved the box through. So that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, ending with Nora, really, uh, that she may not be one to deal with this. She may, you know, have a relationship going with Ephraim or something, but she's not going to be in the, uh, you know, in the war zone. She's not going to be getting in there and, you know, uh, exterminating these uh, these things, uh, which is, you know, rightfully so. I mean, they're not something you really want to mess with. You got to be really quick and you got to be really on your game when they come after you because they're really formidable. Um, so aside from that, I mean, all I can really say about this episode is it, it freaked the hell out of me, and uh, and it was really good. It was really, really well done. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's kind of got, uh, there's also the Stoneheart group as well, too. I forgot to mention that with the uh, guy who is still alive, but he's now turned, so to speak. So, um, and will be very useful to them, so I'm sure that they're, that the mutant vampire side will keep him and, and use him as much as they can. So, in terms of the series and how I feel about the strain, I love the show and I hope it does well. It's just that it doesn't seem to be right now. So, I wouldn't be surprised if the show does get canceled because it doesn't look like it's the easiest show to do. And in addition to that, um, they're trying to do 13 episodes and it's not getting that many views right now. It's only getting, I think, two or three million views an episode, which is not that much considering some of my videos get two, two million views. You know, that's, that's when you consider a whole show versus that, that's kind of crazy if you think about it, but that's true. So they're hopefully, you know, I don't know what it is about FX because they had Fargo too, which I liked a lot. And it didn't do that well either. So maybe it's just that network doesn't pull in that great of ratings. I don't know. Or they haven't advertised the strain enough. But it's definitely a show that uh, is very addicting and very, very good. I can't wait to see what happens with it next. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to review it forever. But um, at least for now, while there's nothing else on during the summer, I'm definitely going to continue with it because I do enjoy it a lot. You know, even if just for my enjoyment and, uh, you know... I'm definitely going to check it out. And I'll try to do reviews every so often for it. Maybe I'll be able to continue the weekly reviews. Let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode. I thought it was awesome and really, really scary. Really gross, man. <laughs> really gross. Uh, the closest thing I can think of is like Blade 2. You know, if you guys seen that movie with the mutant vampire things where their faces open up and all that. Maybe even grosser than that. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all i got to say for this week's episode. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It was, it was awesome. Really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll call it here. That's it for this week's review, guys. I'll see you for the next one. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, please share it and favorite it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See you at the next one. Try it. Thank you.